Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Sprintzer here, DocSports.com, with a college basketball update for Tuesday, January 12th, 2021. Free college play in the Big East in a moment. Uh, first quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, real cool way to do it. You click on the link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account that you can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else at DocSports.com. Hey, listen, a sincere thank you and appreciation for those of you who jumped on board this college football season. Uh, we ended up 100% for the calendar year of 2021, going back to New Year's Day, which included the eight-star game of the year winner in the Bulls. It included last night's win with Alabama, relatively easy win over Ohio State. Uh, so it's just a tremendous run over the past oh, 10 to 12 weeks in college football. And again, want to say thanks to those of you who jumped on board. Uh, we still got some NFL to go. We are 7-2 and 1 in 2021, college football and NFL combined. And uh, we will have our plays posted on Thursday afternoon as always. And I'll talk a little bit more about this weekend's NFL playoff action as we get closer uh, to Thursday. So check that out over the next couple of days. We'll tell you where the betting is with sharps and in the public and all that kind of good stuff and let you know what we're gonna be doing this week in the NFL. Talk a little bit more about that on tomorrow's video. Uh, also wanted to mention last night, we not only got the sweep and won, won in college football with Bama, but we also uh, got the win in college basketball with Bradley. It went down to the wire, but Bradley got the win nonetheless. And we are now on a short-term run of 80% winners in college basketball and going all the way back to day two of the college basketball season on November 26th. We have made over $4,200 for $100 per unit betters with our college basketball sides. Going all the way back to day two of the season. Again, on a short-term 80% run, let's keep it going on Tuesday. I've got a six-star play on Tuesday's college basketball card. It's my only premium play on Tuesday, but it is a big six-star play. And these six-star uh, plays and up in all sports have churned out over $5,500 on a current run for those wagering $100 per unit. So a lot of stuff working for us. I like this game. It, it comes with a 100% situation that one team happens to be in, so you can check it out my homepage at DocSports.com. NBA, I passed on Monday. We got to get it together in the NBA. I do have a play uh, on Tuesday slate, so we'll look to get back in the win column there. Uh, NHL, folks, we are just, what, a couple of days, or by the time you watch this, 24 hours away uh, from the start of the NHL season. We're going to have three plays through the first two days at least. Already earmarked three plays that we're gonna jump on through the first two days. We'll talk a little bit more about that on Wednesday's video, all right? Uh, let's get to the free play in college basketball for Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern time, Marquette hosting Providence. It's game 634. Uh, looking at all 16 books, we see Marquette's laying three for the most part off that tough loss to UConn. They lost that game in blue, an 18-point second half lead. They played well on the defensive end for the most part, but they had a terrible night from behind the three-point line. They went five of 18 and just couldn't overcome that bad shooting night from the deep perimeter. The thing about the Golden Eagles, I mean, obviously they, they need a win here. That doesn't mean uh, will win when you're in a must-win spot, but we do like them to be motivated in this game. They've played the 24th toughest schedule in college basketball, according to Ken Palm, and yet they're still ranked 39th in adjusted offensive efficiency. So on most nights, they get it done, and in most nights, uh, they can drain it from the arc. They're 36th in defending the two-pointer when they're up against their opposition, and I like them to bounce back here. As far as Providence is concerned, they need a win too, and I'm an Ed Cooley fan, but I think he's in the wrong spot in this particular game. They can't shoot from the deep perimeter most nights. They've made just 29 of 76, 38% uh, from their two-point attempts in their last two games combined, and they come into this one having lost six in a row against the spread on the road with just one day off between games which is the situation here. So yeah, both teams need a win, uh, but we think Marquette comes through at home. And again, I think this price is fair at uh, minus three, which is where it is as we cut this video. Uh, we like Marquette to win this by about eight points. So free play, video play on Marquette minus the points over Providence on Tuesday. Check out the star of the show for me on my homepage on Tuesday, which of course is that six star play in college basketball. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe.